Hello, welcome to Frank's School. This is the 93rd day of the seventh year. First video, protesting with braiding. Protesting with braiding. Uh, uh, and also with a hammer. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. Uh, Friday for future. Fridays for future. FFF is sometimes uh, abbreviated. That, that might help. Uh, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll, Friday is the day I've now made that I, the one day a week that I'll go to town. And part of my day is to go there at noon and uh, be there uh, protesting, demonstrating. Uh, for what? For climate. Um, and uh, my, my support structure has gone like this. By myself, two people, one person added. Then by myself again next week, uh, another person added. Last week, I was there by myself. Who knows? This week, maybe I'll be by myself. If the pattern would continue, one person would show up. Uh, it'll be exciting one too. Do I? Oh, my, I don't know what I'd do with that. But anyway, uh, yeah, the hammer. I I still open carry the hammer, and I go in costume. I didn't put it on artificially here, but my overalls. I wear them as well, uh, so I have a certain costume. That that helps a lot to keep me warm. It, it started to get a little bit cold uh, last week. Not bad. But I'm going to change the venue. I've been sitting at north toward the front of the courthouse which is not at all a very good place to sit. For one thing, they've changed the entry to the courthouse. True, traffic goes by a little bit. Not very much, but you know, it's the political center of, uh, of the county. It's the county seat. But I'm going to change to a commercial center. I'm going to just move down the street to where all the stores are. All the consumption is encouraged and goes on. That's going to be a better place. It'll be out of the wind. It'll be a better place in a lot of ways, and certainly more people will see me. I don't know what they'll think, but they'll see me. In any case, I'm not a very good protester. I'm not, I'm just not a very good protester. I think of that Shakespearean quote of, uh, no, Hamlet's girlfriend, Ophelia, the lady doth protest too much, or something like that. Well, I, I certainly haven't protested too much in the past. Um, uh, but I do have my signs. Uh, <clears throat> the man who made this first sign, uh, you know, it, it didn't seem to make much difference that I had a sign. It says Fridays for Future, Greta, Climate, Try, trying to come up with words that people could relate to. And on the back, don't mow, don't go, uh, don't uh, degrow. Uh, don't, you know, degrow is not just don't grow, it's degrow. Grow smaller in your, in your impact. Uh, but he made another sign for me. He was here yesterday. He's going to probably come once a week now. Braiding for climate. <laughs> I, have to, I do have to sometimes laugh at, what, at how unusual this is, what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's see, where was I? Aller Anfang ist schwer. That's a German phrase. Periodically, I invoke it. it. It translates to roughly, of everything, beginning is heavy. All beginnings are hard. It's always hard to start something. I think of that ever since I first heard that back when I was probably 16 or so. Uh, so I, that's all right. I'm going to keep doing it even if it's one, 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 one. I don't care. Um, braiding. Why braiding? Well, you know, braiding keeps my hands busy. Uh, I looked at all this protesting on television. I think, you know, boy, you get a lot of people together like that and shouting and moving around. And, no, one, no wonder periodically it gets violent. And since I'm not really a shouter, that just would not be my style, but I can braid. Um, and uh, you know, it, it does get some attention, but there's more than that. It keeps my hands busy, it keeps me out of trouble, keeps my hands off the hammer, um, which is always there as a threat. Uh, later, I'm sure I'll have more to say about that. I've said stuff about it before. Uh, it d doesn't require any tools, just just your hands. It's a caveman activity. I often think about that. You know, cavemen no doubt learned to braid. At least they had they had their wife or their girlfriend's hair to braid or their boyfriend's hair to braid. They they, they probably braided all the time, and it's easy. Uh, uh, you can you can splice with it. You know, so you can make something infinitely long. You can just continually add. I want to learn how to French braid. Eventually, someone's going to come by and say, oh, braiding, yeah, I like that, that's fun. Uh, and I'll say, can you French braid? And I had one woman go by and says, yeah, I can French braid. But she kept going. 
Uh, maybe I learned a French braid. I don't know. Uh, but the thing is, anything that bends can be braided, really. I thought about trying to braid newspaper, and, and I, I probably will. I can't imagine why you couldn't braid newspaper. I've worked with twine, and I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, because these, I've worked with only materials that I don't go and buy. They're, they're, they're there. As a matter of fact, I should have written here. You can get a, a you, you can reuse something that had no use otherwise. Uh, twine, uh, both sisal twine and plastic twine. And I even tried to braid plastic bags. And I found, yes, you can do that. And I might have mentioned this, I surely mentioned this before, but the Incas, uh, the Quechua, really, I should say, the Quechua in the Indians in Peru, every two or three years, for the last 500 years, I think, they have uh, replaced a, a, a suspended bridge in a certain place. I, I should maybe give the link. And they do it with grass. Uh, they, they build the entire bridge with nothing but grass, and grass is only about that long. And they, they spin it. First thing they do is spin it on their leg and then they braid, and the rest is all braiding. Uh, so, you know, what, what to do, I don't know. But I want to show you my, 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 uh, my work, my craftsmanship. Here's what I started with. This, this, is, this is plastic baler twine, which I have because my neighbor, he didn't burn it immediately. He gathered it up, and I said, hey, can I have that? I'll see, see what I can do with that. So that's what I started with. And with that, if you braid it a little bit, you get a braid, and I'm, I'm no great braider either, but it's pretty darn strong. This stuff is really strong by itself, too. It's, you'd call it technically yarn. It's been spun. Uh, but once it's then braided, it's very strong, and when you've got three of those, you can then braid the three together. I don't know if you can see this or not. And, uh, you know, my ugly braiding begins to show up, but you get something very strong. But anyway, that's what I started with. Yeah, here's another instance of of three of them braided. I guess I, I didn't actually need that. But baler, uh, baler twine, uh, sisal, is such a more pleasant material. Uh, and I didn't actually start with the baler twine because I was at an auction and I got a whole spool of this. And, and the auctioneer didn't really know what it was. He just called it rope or something. He didn't know. I knew immediately what it was. It must have come from a dairy farm, and somebody, uh, instead of throwing out that baler twine, they braided it one time, and they just kept doing it, and they had a whole spool of it, and I have it. I should have brought the spool in. Maybe I will next time. But anyway, mm, I even love the way it smells. That's sizal. Uh, but if you braid it once, then you have that, which in rope making would be called a, I think it would be called a rope at that point. Uh, if it were spun, continually spun instead of braided. And then if you put that together, you've got what's called a cable. Um, <clears throat> I think, yeah, I think. And the next step up would be a hawser. I think that's the way it goes. But I even wanted to show you this, plastic bags. It occurred to me that, you know, I bet I could even braid plastic bags. I got three colors so I wouldn't get too mixed up. And yes, I can indeed. And it gets very strong and it's actually kind of pretty. So that's the kind of stuff I'm doing there, and I'll let you know how it goes. Bye for now.